Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. You'll notice it's a little bit further into the morning. Um, what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to try and end this series within the next couple of weeks. So we're going to go to day 70 uh, to finish this series up. And right now it's day 56. We've got two more Horde Knights. I've turned up the difficulty. We're at Survivalist now. Um, and we've got 32 Zombie Horde Knights. So... Uh, that should be interesting for the next Horde Knight, and then the last one, of course, will be the Insane Horde Knight. Um, and let's just do this first. Will be the Insane Horde Knight, and um, we'll be at 64 max zombies. I'm probably going to turn the night up all the way for that too, um, meaning that I'll put it to 18 hours so that the zombies will keep coming as long as there's uh, time on the clock, if that makes sense. So I'm just going through right now. I got to go ahead and update the back here. We had a problem last time with the zombies wanting to try to get through here. Uh, and I think the issue was that um, they saw getting through the wall get to get to me as being easier than coming around the front. So I had to close the, the door and um, like the, the uh, steel door and that put enough um, blocks between me and them that they came around to the front. But I want to avoid that. I don't want to have to close that steel door unless I need to. So what I'm doing is I'm going to apply plates to the building um, all the way around. So hopefully the zombies will never see this as a way to get to me. Uh, if we have to fight and get back into the center of the building, they may see it as a way to get to me. But at that point, we're going to be two solid blocks of, of uh, reinforced concrete all the way around. Five levels high. Now I want to give this a little bit of building a bit of texture. I don't have enough to upgrade all of this, but what I'm doing is I'm giving it a bit of texture. So we're going to go half block here, and then here we're going to go the uh, slab. So that'll make the corners kind of like stick out a little bit, right? You give it a little bit of texture. I think it'll look kind of cool. So we're really low on concrete right now. So I got that going. What I decided to do also is to do. Uh, a couple of episodes where um, I'm just building and I'm going to wrap those into one. Yeah, we're out of concrete already. So I'm going to wrap those into one because uh, we need to fit seven episodes into five days. So probably what I'll end up doing is I'll end up having, you know, um, two days where it's two episodes wrapped into one and then one day where it's... Um, all the epi like like single episodes, which will be like you know taking on. Uh, uh, let's grab this, which will be taking on like challenges and buildings and things like that, right? Uh, Fourteen probably. So with that being said, uh, what I want to do today and tomorrow is get the repairs to the base done uh, and get as much of stuff prepared as I possibly can. That way, you know, later in the week. If we are um, out and about and doing stuff, uh, I don't feel like we're up against the gun to get back and have to get the base fixed and all that stuff. So we got to do a lot of collecting stone today. We got to make a lot of concrete today. Um, do all the repairs. I've been doing the repairs on the roof up here. The only reason why I was downstairs was because oh, well, where did I leave my cobble? Uh, because I was um, doing repairs on the roof. Roof and a zombie came around, so I dropped down. But yeah, so we'll get all this repaired. And um, this is probably from Spit, most likely. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do with this if we need to fall back. So I've already thought of a plan for inside here. What I want to do is knock out these two blocks here, but put plates around on these three sides. Um, and then right in, the, in that slot right there where we knock these two out, I'm going to put an um, electric fence post. And I'm going to run the electric fence post uh, I'll put another one on the inside here and the inside here so it'll be like a V shape so that when the zombies, if they do break through and we have to fall back to the hatches, I'm going to have another hatch in here, uh, they'll be running into electric fence here too to try and get to me. So that's one of the goals I want to try, try and get to before day 64. I don't think we'll need to go beyond that. I think with this door closed, if these walls are steeled back in there, uh, I don't think we're going to have an issue at all with the zombies breaking through. But if they do break through, well, we're running for our lives and we'll leave it at that. Uh, but I think, yeah, I think this will probably, as long as we get it updated to steel and we get some more electronics in here, I think it'll be fine. So, like I said, I'm going to keep working on getting this updated and I'll just come back 
on camera um, as I get the uh, pieces done to show you where I'm at with it. Uh, there's a lot of work that will be done. I think I'm going to abandon the drawbridge because I don't think I can get it working properly how I like it and stuff. So what I might do, like I was planning to go down this way, but what I might do is just knock this out and then have a ramp out there on the road. So the drawbridge will still be here going this way, but then because it's so big, right? Like the drawbridge is huge. If we go and grab it here real quick, it's in here, right? Yeah. So if we grab this real quick, like the thing is massive, right? So we gotta be very careful where we put it so that it's gonna like work. You know what I mean? It's gotta be like right here, like one off the edge. So, and it's going to come way out, right? It's going to come out past where this block is, right? So if you back up here, you can see it kind of goes right to the edge of the property. So, we got to set something out here on the road as a ramp down. If we, I think we'll put the drawbridge in just for aesthetic purposes, but um, that means I got to knock this out, spend time knocking that out. And then we'll figure this out. Like it'll go there, I think, but up one higher. I gotta put a block up there first for it to work. We'll put it here. I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. So, can we get it to. No, it's not gonna. I'm just trying to get a good, accurate visual on where it's going to come out to. But I'll worry about that later. We'll put it in. I'll have to knock this out. Then we'll put some stairs down here or something. Like, we'll, something similar to this, I think. But yeah, uh, we're going to get... I'm going to keep working on this stuff. And then I'll just come back as updates happen. It's a really quiet morning, too, by the way. I'm just kind of shocked there's no zombies out here. So I'll come back in um, as... Uh, I get things done and stuff. So my first concern today is getting the updates to the base. And then I need to get a crap ton more iron. So um, I'll probably go off to the iron mine by the um, construction site. Uh, only because I haven't been able to find nitrate powder below me. Now, if I don't find nitrate powder, well, we're just going to have to deal with that. All my gunpowder is going to be going to making pipe bombs for the last night. So... Um, yeah, if I don't find nitrate powder, then it's going to be whatever we can get from the traders. Now, uh, yesterday, I think, was the trader day. Or it's tomorrow, sorry. Every 3 plus 1, right? So 57 is 19. Yeah, so tomorrow is the trader day. So we'll go to the trader tomorrow, get whatever we can with gunpowder and all that kind of stuff, whatever nitrate powder he's got. Um... We're doing okay for fuel now too, which is fantastic. I was worried about that. Um, but I think we'll be okay for gas for the end of the series. Worst case scenario, we go find a couple buses and wrench them and we're good to go. Um, but yeah, but I want to get all this replaced too. Like we need to get our grass in here too, right? So this is a lot of work. I know I, I should be using the auger, but like I said, we're limited on gas. So I can't just go ahead and be burning through gas, that and then getting uh, uh, screamers out here with the with the uh, double-sized um, spawns could be nasty for me. So I'm just trying to avoid uh, getting myself killed before the last night. <laughs> so let me take this down, um, get stuff set up, and then uh, I'll come back. All right, there's that coming down. Nice. All right, so the one thing I haven't done last night after last night, that is, is spend my skill points. Now, I said it was going to be going up in uh, advanced engineering. I think that's the best way to go. Uh, crafting forged steel costing less is going to be great. That'll maximize our armor, or uh, how much um, forged steel we can get out of the uh, the forges. Uh, wait, forged resources cost 15% less. Crafting forged steel electrical devices cost 25% less. Okay, that's great. So we're going to go up in intellect so we can get to this, because this is like level, what, eight. So we got a bit to go. All right, so we got another two, three more points to get that up. I think that's more important than anything right now before the last little bit. 
All right, let's go down and keep working. All right, so the front's repaired now. The biggest block out here that took the most damage was this one right in here. And it had taken about 600 damage. It's steel. It took about 600 damage, which really isn't a lot if you think about it in the overall scheme of things. It's got 7,000 health plus the 5,000 from the concrete underneath it. So it's got a lot of health. So it didn't take really any damage at all. And one of these had taken like 500 points or 600 points damage to the concrete. So it's really nothing. So I'm really hoping that the uh, next Horde Knight, we don't have to worry too much about the uh, kind of damage that they're going to be putting under the building. All right, so I got this back wall updated here. We put corner pieces in here. So this is all sticking out now, nice and cornery like. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and paint this back wall. We'll see what it looks like now that it's uh, actually sticking out like this. All right, so that's it for this side. Let's have a quick look and see what it looks like now. Yeah, I think I'm liking that. I like the extra little, the little depth that we've added to this. I'm not sure about this dark concrete underneath here though. Let's actually just quickly change that. Maybe we just go to regular concrete. Yeah, that might be better. Yeah, it looks a little better, I think. We'll go with the regular concrete under here. So that's it for the back wall. It's all upgraded and ready to go. Now I just need to do the two sides. We've got more concrete pouring and stuff. So I'm going to go through all this crap. we got the sidewalk painter back here. I'm going to double this up, I think, all the way around. And make it like, like uh, little sidewalk plates like this all the way around. But let's get over to the mine. I'm going to leave as much concrete there as I can on the go. Fix that. Let's just put these guys back in here for now. Drawbridge can go in there. This is downstairs. This is downstairs. This can go in there. You. All right, now we're going to need a couple of repair kits here. Better forget to bring those or we'll be in trouble. Oh, I got nine. Never mind. Uh, more than I'll need. Two guys away. Let's take one of these guys because we're still pretty full. Let's take six coffees, seven coffees, and two uh, rock busters. I think we have some in the bike, but I want to make sure we have them on us just in case. Did I put... I did. Naughty, naughty. All right, let's get out of here. It's been a very quiet day. Other than that one zombie that we had this morning at the back of the house, it's been like really, really quiet. There's been nothing around. Oh yeah, we got to go... Oh. And that's the same girl that we uh, killed this morning. Wow, the lag. Got zombies spawning in, probably. All right, we're just going to park out here. Now, I think the last time we were in this building, one of the zombies uh, tripped the mine that was out here. Looks like it's gone. All right, let's get in here. And let's get to work. Oh, we got somebody? I thought I heard somebody. All right, we're going to get to work in here. Hopefully we stumble across nitrate powder. If not, well, better luck next time, I guess. All right. I'm expecting to get a lot, a lot of zombies showing up here tonight. Which is good because we need to get more kills here. Before Horde Night. Our game stage is pretty close to what I want it to be. We, we got the next Horde Night. I want to be uh, into demolishers, so I want to test the base with demolishers. What is up? Apparently nothing. Ooh, is this a wandering horde? Yeah, just a couple. I'm wondering if I should just, like, upgrade that to an iron hatch. You know what? I better do that. I'm just thinking, um, because if a white or cops show up or whatever, they're going to blow through that wooden hatch really, really quick. So I'm better off replacing what I've got there. What the? Oh. I didn't bring my... Oh my god, what an idiot. You know what it is? 
I've been playing Minecraft and my buttons are different in Minecraft. And I'm like, okay. Why is thing why aren't things working? And then I, I'm mistaking the impact whoop, mistaking the impact driver for uh Yeah. Let's craft a level five stone axe, cause why not? Cause we can. Now we can fix this. There we go. Uh, okay, that's repaired. We have how much wood do we have? Nothing. Let's get a little bit of wood here. Yep. Let's not tempt fate before horde night. This guy's a feral. Probably a good thing we didn't tempt fate. And that's a white. I'll wait for you to show up. We're in here, buddy. Not fucking around with whites. Come on, you bastards. Bring it in. Free hugs. It's the free hug hole. What's up, buddy? That's it? Did I leave anything in here? Nothing. I really should. Probably all the wood I need anyway. I mean, I don't really need to run from these guys. Like I said, better safe than sorry. Christ, those things, I tell you. They do no damage to you, but they scare the, the sound. It's just so... Die. Alright, because I want to go ahead. Um, it's not a word. Do this. This is probably overkill, but... Feral Kenny. Maybe I should have done this at home. I'm not going to get any work done. Come on, you bastards. Oh, it's a spider monkey. I still hear more. Alright, my plan was to go ahead and drop this in there. Grab the loot bag. Impact driver. All right, well, at least we get infected. We're all okay out here. I want to go ahead and add these guys to here. This person would despawn. How rude. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a little better, I think. Gonna put that there just to give them some trouble coming down. Alright, I gotta get back to work here. That's uh, been pretty quiet for a while now that we've got a guy at the door. What's up, buddy? You don't want any. We don't want any. And another one. Sounds like two. Nope, this one. A noisy one. I just hear another guy? Nope, guess not. Keep working. Can't afford to stop. Oop, sounds like we got another white. Maybe. It's 
Sounded like something. Yep, nasty, uh, nasty white. What's up, buddy? Right, he one shot of that block. Took that one right to the face. Oop. Did not mean to do that. Ooh, cop. Barrel cop, too. Come on. Yeah. Well, we got some stuff for the to sell to the traders anyway. Well, it is the morning now, four minutes anyway. So, uh, no nitrate powder. Wasn't expecting to find any. I was hoping to find something, but yeah, there's the chime. I try to make my way along the edge of the iron here to try and hopefully find some, but yeah, our uh, rock busters and our coffee ran out a little while ago, so we're kind of running on low stamina here. Used up my food too, still. All right, well, what do we get here? One, two, three, four, five, and a bit stacks, and a stack of this, almost a quarter stack of uh, sand. All right, so I think we did pretty well there. Kind of disappointed we didn't find the uh, nitrate powder, but whatever. All right, let's get back home. So today's trader day. So I'm going to go home, drop all this stuff off, get the stuff running in the forges. And um, oh, what's up, lady? Excuse me. Uh, get the stuff running in the forges. And then um, we'll go off to the traders. Hopefully we can make some good coin today. Hopefully they got lots of gunpowder and nitrate powder or whatever else they got down there. It would be nice. Yeah, we got somebody outside. Uh, they're banging on my metal. Dude. Fuck off. She just pissed that I uh, ran her over. That's what it was. I, I don't blame her. Ah, uh, we got somebody else out there now too. Guess I should try and get some wood today, too. Oh, for crying out loud. Where are you? Ah, uh, we got another person off to the right here. Or left, whatever. Ooh, exchange of blows. I heard somebody over here. Guess not. All right, let's get this restacked. Keep it flowing. Which wood do we got in there? Tons. Got a crawler on the fence here. Had a crawler on the fence there. Ah, they won't leave me alone. I kind of like this additional zombies. It can be frustrating though. It's really, it gets two times the zombies, but it it feels like a lot more. All right, we're gonna put that in there. There's another one. Fuck's sake. Get up. I'm pissed that I killed your sister. Probably. I don't blame you. All right, get this stuff sorted. We're getting out of here. I thought we had pumpkin cheesecake. Did we? Did I make something to just throw it in down here? I don't know. Maybe I did. Nope. Well, it's not like it really matters. I mean, look what we—we've got so much money. It's like really ridiculous. There's no way that we're going to be able to spend all this today either. All right, buddy. Come on over here. I was just working on that wall. All right, let's get to the traders. Oh yeah, this guy's, I still got two hours before they open. All right, well, 
lots of stuff to do over here. There's a little trailer park over here. Let's go check it out. Did we not go in here already? I feel like we've gone in here already. But his dog snack pig man. I don't think we have. Let's put some stuff in here. Zombies are going to be fast now too, so I got to be very careful. And they're tougher. Alright, who do we do here? Wait, this one is what? Um, oh right, this is the one with the uh, military guy. Military, no it's not. Which one is this one? I can't remember now. Don't need the stone. Um, I don't remember. Should be a bird, right? There's always a bird. Where's the bird? Oh, there it is. There it was. That's not bad. Take those. All right, we drop down in here. Close that. Nothing? All right, well, not gonna, ooh. Ammo pile, 37 rounds, take that. I don't think there's anything up there. Any acid? Yep. Go ahead and scrap this. No pistols. Yeah, we can sell the traders. Ah, I've already read that. We'll take it. We'll sell it to traders. That's fine. From there. Come on, something good. Yeah. Sellables. Guys down. Nothing. Nobody in here. Not worth it. It's like worth 50 at the trader or something, but hey buddy. I know you're radiated, but doesn't help you at all. We got two in here. Got one in here. Oh, it's Kenny. All right, now, I think there's two in the club closet. One. Where? Ooh. Come on, get up. Uh, not today, I guess, eh? Not sit in here? All right, what do we got? See what we got here. Blueberry seed, I'll take that. I mean, I don't really need it, but might as well take it. We got plenty of ammo for the last couple of hordes. One thing we we are missing though, let's just take all that. Ooh, that's a level four auto shotgun. 14, 10. We'll hang on to that guy. Let's go ahead and scrap this. Scrap that. Yeah, that's definitely a good item to have. Now, I don't think we need the, we're, our inventory is maxed out, so we don't really need the triple storage pocket mod. Uh, do we, oh, we got a double on this one. Let's just take that off, put this on. Now, um, doesn't really matter where this goes. Modify this, just throw it in there. A little extra coin. We've got so much of it, doesn't really matter. What I want is to find these with gunpowder. Ah! Well, yeah, that wasn't very fruitful. Now we just got to get out of here and go out the window. Oh, he's open now. Let's go back to the trader. Oop, I guess I should bring in the stuff we need. Uh, let's leave... stuff we want to keep in there. Keep 
Alright, those guys, you, 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 you. Need that. Oops, we don't need that. That can go in there. Right? Uh, you, you. Well, I would have saved the rest of the stuff for the next trader. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Oh, we got eye candy. We're going to need that for the next horde. So we'll grab that on the way out. Let's go talk to this guy. What's up, buddy? Take your time. Oh, uh, not taking my time. Got stuff to do. Places to go, zombies to kill, you know what I'm saying? Uh, inventory, let's just go ahead and sell all this stuff. Alright, so not so bad. I mean, I don't know how much we made. 20,000, something like that. He's got 10 gunpowder. <laughs> A whole 10 gunpowder. Take that. Take this. At least we don't have to worry about, like, buying or making ammo. I've been buying enough of it that I don't have to really worry about it. Take that. AP 9mm. I want to buy, I'm going to buy another SMG turret. I know we can make one, but it's just quicker to buy it. Steel armor schematic. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. We don't have it, so I might as well just buy it. Cooler, no. Structural brace, triple storage pocket, no. Glue. Wait, did you have rebar? You got rebar. I know we made a bunch, but I'm going to buy it. That way I don't have to make rebar anymore. We don't need any anvils. Uh, rocket launcher parts. Oh, forged steel will buy. Nitrate powder. He's got 60. Not a lot, but we'll take it. Cement mix will buy. Concrete will buy. Oil shell will buy. Buy, 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 buy. Uh, I don't think we need to make any more weapons, so we're okay with all that other stuff. I mean, we could make a rocket launcher, but I think we got the—I think we got enough parts at home. But I'm gonna grab it just in case we don't. Yeah, I don't really see a need for the rocket launcher right now. Nails, double. Oh, you know what? We're gonna be making stuff for the house anyway, so I might as well grab it. All right, let's get out of here. It's been a real pleasure. Oh, you watch yourself. Oh, we don't have there. a job from you. Okay, uh, it's all tier fours though. Fetch clear southeast. Clothing store. I'll hold this job for you as long. They seeing you. Um, I'm in a little predicament. Gun store. Can you help traveler. Let's well, take that one. Alrighty, then. Let's get That's to the going. east. Which is down near our place. Okay, let's go back to the other trader. And. Give him some of this stuff um, that we still want to sell. There's not a lot here. Just a few things in there. I never did buy the eye candy. Damn it. Ah. Hopefully this guy's got some here. Bet she doesn't, though. Nope. Because, of course, he doesn't. Damn it. Well, we got a couple of days. And you are... All right, let's grab what he's got. Let's just sell this stuff first. I could have repaired all this stuff and sold it to him, but we've got so much money, what difference does it make, you know? Okay, I'll take the cement. Let's go through this way, though. Here we go. Steel tool parts, no. Electric fence post. I think we got lots, but I'll take those. I think I want to try and put them around the base for the last horde night. Shotgun auto turrets. No. Rebar we've got tons of now. Um, what else here? We got lots of meat. We got lots of, well. Okay, 40 gunpowder is not a lot. Yeah, we got screwed for gunpowder, that's for sure. Ah, uh, well, might as well just grab whatever ammo we can take here. You know, I'm almost considering, like, buying, like, level 1 items like this and just scrapping them for the ammo. But that's a little extreme, I think. We'll take that. Frags, take. Sure. All right, that was kind of a bust. That's right. Do the math. You do the math. We, have a, we got a job off you, right? Yeah, we do.
Come on. Oh, you stuck in the door. That's hilarious. His jacket's caught. That looks like it was a wandering horde. Somebody got a piece of me. Fuck it, we bought ammo. Don't rush in, Kenny. Do you, are you sad being the last one? Well, what's our game stage at here? Uh, 148. Let's kill a few more guys. I know it won't get it to 150, but... You gotta be killing. Gotta be killing. Get that zombie death count up higher. Man, I got a hold of me. You got a hold of me. What's up, buddy? All right, let's get home and drop this stuff off. All right, so let's get up here. Yeah, so we got what? Uh, 81,700 coins, pretty good. Pretty good. I didn't bring the stuff in from the bike, because of course I didn't. Why would I do that? Let's get this concrete moving, though. Well, we came back with 40 gunpowder. 40. I think it's all in here, though. Yeah. So we got over... I mean, that's enough pipe bombs. I think we'll be fine for ammo. I keep worrying about the ammo, but I think we'll be just fine. Ooh, I didn't sell this, though. All right, well, that's the stuff out of the bike. Let's go ahead and use this guy. Not that we need it, but... Do we have room for this blueberry up here? We got plenty of space. Where are you? Blueberry seed. I saw you. Here we go. I gotta put you in there. Alright, so this shotgun that we found today... Um, how's it comparing to this guy? 2110, magazine size of 12, magazine size of 18, which we can double. 36. Won't do as much damage. You know what? We're going to hold on to it. Maybe we employ it in the Horde Knight. We can take this one out of here, though. Wait, which one? This, this one's way less. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably be able to employ that on Horde Knight. Alright, just drop the ammo in here. Parts in here. Oil shell I've been keeping in here. But I think we used it all in the... Turn it all into gas. Didn't sell our gold, though. Okay, raw ingredients. Okay, let's get back to doing some more work on this place. I'll leave that running. Take these guys out of here. So we've got to do the walls on the side of the building. Grab that. Um, we need you. Not the impact driver. Uh, might need you. The SMG turret, too. I'm wondering where we're going to put that. I'm also wondering about the electric fence posts. Where they need to be. 
Let's take these guys with us, because I think what we should do is go back out here. I'm not going to use the wiring tool just yet. I'm going to go out here, because I think we can just... i got to figure out how I want to do this now. Do I want to have it... Which one of these wires... Both? The one closest to the wall, probably? So, it would, I'd have to do both. If I drop down in here, I'm not getting out. Uh, oh yeah, I am. Gotta math this, hang on a second. Drop down to here. Knock this block out. We pretend like we're knocking that block out. Actually, I gotta knock both of these out. So let's just start with this one. So here's my predicament is I don't know if I can reach these guys to repair them. That's going to be the question. So if we put you in... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach that to repair it. I will not be able to repair you. So... I think we have to leave it on level then. I was hoping to put it down one, but I guess we just use these guys as backups. Like, I think that's probably what we have to do. Yeah, they just get used as backups then. I hope I can reach these guys from in there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, just kind of barely. Like, I don't even know if that's considered a reach. Well, regardless, we do need the extra level of uh, protection in here. There's nothing we can do about it. We have to get that extra level of protection. Because if we don't... ...and they break through, we're screwed. Like, if one of these dies partway through the night and I can't get to it, I can just leave the switch. I can just flick a switch, right? And we're still going to need to do this bit. So let me do that right, let's do this bit right now. Okay, so the idea behind this one, so if we place these with plates, then I can take out like, this isn't going to collapse anyway. Even if I just took this out, it wouldn't collapse. But I still like having that pillar for extra support in the center. So we're going to take these two blocks out. So as I was breaking this one out, I think this has got to go too. Because we need to put plates here. Uh, advanced. Uh, only because I'll be shooting out this way with a shotgun. And if I don't put them here... What'll end up happening is I'll be hitting this thing and it'll break it. Right? So we gotta protect it with this. Like that. And then up here we break this out. Alright, we break that out. Now technically these blocks here are supporting these ones up here because this bar these bars actually take up this whole block which means this actually supports those bars so even if like structurally this is just fine I know it doesn't look like it but it is so now we can just go ahead and just jump up and then we can wire it this way can we can we right yeah from here 
we can wire it this way and then I can put like a hatch on here I mean we don't need a hatch or anything but I'll probably put one on there anyway okay so that'll work and then in here is where we'll have the other Man, the pipe bombs, they do a lot of splash damage, I tell you. Come on, buddy, bring it around front. Hey, Kenny. Dead before you hit the ground. Okay, so then we put one there and one there. We'll put a switch up here somewhere up here that we can throw to turn these on and that should work just fine like that the power will go out here so anyone there and there will get electrocuted let's see, move it right into here which is probably what we should do it's not protected there but ah so we'll get a steel hatch made here. Uh, I need springs. Mechanical parts. Hatch. Vault hatch. Craft. We got our fuse box made too. We got to figure out where that's going to go. I want to run the inside power with batteries. We got to get all the lighting up. I think before the next horde, hopefully the lighting will all be done. Um... Uh, and I'll have all this upgraded up here. We got lots of cobble. We'll upgrade all that. Get the fuse box set up in here. Get all the lighting nice. Paint all the walls. I think it'll look great when, once it's done. Uh, do I want to go here? I think I do. Not the optimal spot for it, but... I think that's where it has to go. And then we'll put another hatch right here, opening up to the outside. So that we'll have one hatch, then a second hatch behind it. And even if they're standing, even if there's a cop here, yeah, he can't see that. There shouldn't be any splash damage on those whatsoever. Unless, of course, I, you know, I accidentally drop a pipe bomb inside but then I should be able to repair it and hopefully I'll have some uh, I'll have uh, extras on me just in case I don't I really shouldn't be putting that in I should have enough confidence in this outer base that I, I you know I don't have to worry too much about them ever breaking in but there's just that side of me that says what's going to happen on the 64 night is that I'll be attacked from two sides at once so half of them will be here and half of them will be here and I won't be able to constantly be bouncing back and forth between the two of them with enough time to stop them from breaking through the walls. And because, like I said, I'm going to be running that horde night until it, it's over. I'm going to put it up for a long period of time. And what I even might do is if it finishes before the night ends, I might log out and log back in again so it starts up again. It's going to be an 18 in-game hour horde night. So it should be intense. But we'll see what they can do. All right, uh, let's then... What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I got to get my hatch. I should get the wire tool, too. Yeah, that forged steel is starting to flow now. We got 440 on us, which is pretty good. We gotta get a lot of this upgraded. Like, I wanna do all of this into steel, just in case. Uh, okay, so we got the hatch now. Uh, so we wanna open it, oops, this way. Right? Perfect. And I should, I mean, if. I'm not going to do it, but what I should do is I should put one here too. Just is the, you know, if everything goes foobar, you know, then we can go into the house, throw this up, and be fine. I don't think it will though. 
And if they tear this place down, so be it. It was fun to build, I gotta say. Alright, we're good out here. Let's get this wired now. Oh, I need a switch. Not having a switch would be a bad thing. Can you imagine me backing up into that shit all the time? Uh, do I need... What I do need is to do... You, you, and... Where are you? Oh, I got you on me. Logical parts. Because I need to do... Um, we need two, four, we need six. And we got four on us. I'm going to make six more. So we have four extras. Yeah. So let's get down over here. We got to do this side now. Right? So that's that done. Then we got to go and do... We got to get the ones under here. I, uh, I should have made a way in there, like steel doors, but I didn't. That's my bad. I don't think we can put them in from here either, can we? Oh, we can. Almost. We can do one. No, we can do two. These will be going angled down, though. Let's take... Ah, uh, we gotta take these out. Okay, yeah, so I think the big fear was before was that I wasn't gonna be able to repair these, but I can from here. Like, I'll be able to repair them from here. And if we take this... And we go shape... Wedge tip... And then we do... Uh, advanced, I guess. Just so that we've got some kind of protection here. Right, so if they do break in here, they're not going to be crawling through here anytime soon. So we can repair both of those from here, I think. Alright, let's do this side. It's that done. Now we can just put. Uh, we need to put the switch up. Let's put it up here. That's for these guys. Now we need to get the other two uh, or the other uh, fences. These electric fences are so cheap to ma make. It's nice to have extras on hand. Okay, now I'm hoping that I can wire this shit. All right, uh, how are we doing here for power? Maximum output, 150. To there, there, to there, there, yeah, see, that's going to be nice. So we throw this up. Then we can still stand here and shoot once they're, st once they're stunned and stuff. What will happen is the first wave will get stunned here. Then the ones from behind them will push them forward, which means they'll be like right in here, which we can just go ahead and shoot them. I think that's fine. That'll work out as a backup. That's our B plan. All right, now what I want to do, what I should do is throw these guys on a switch too. So let's go make another switch. I'm gonna craft two switches just so we've got them on us. Oh, we got somebody downstairs. Oh, a bunch of them. Yeah, baby, out this way. Not a bad number. I died from a leg wound. Still somebody out back. Come on.
Come on. I got all day. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't hear anymore. All right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, uh, we got the one switch. We're waiting for another one. I wanted to go ahead and put three more engines in here too, and max fuel this thing. That's a screamer. Question is, where is she? Well, I hear you. Where are you banging? Fuck's sakes. Oops. Not me to do that. I don't think she called anybody. Not that it matters. Call all the people you want. They're not getting in here. They ain't getting in here. Uh, switch. Two switches. Excellent. Okay. Light back on so we can see what the hell we're doing. Alright, so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Let's put you... There. And this is B plan. There. To there. You. I hope I can reach this damn thing. It's this one, right? Yeah. Is it? It is. And there. To this one. This one. To. Uh, wait, that was on the outside? Inside. Inside. Ah, shit. I can't reach that one. Uh-oh. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. Damn it. I gotta break through a wall to get to it. Because of course I do. I can't see it from here either. Damn it! I gotta break through three walls to get to it. Ah! Well, it's gotta be done. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave that for off camera, but I will go ahead. Oops. I will go ahead and wire this last one here. Hopefully I can see it from here. And it will work. It's just... Shit. I wonder if it'll let me go to the roof with this. Ah, it doesn't. Damn it! Well, that's something for me to figure out tonight. I'm going to have to break a lot of this shit down. God darn it. Well, that's what happens when you don't plan ahead. Not much I can do about it now. I'm kind of stuck with it. So, I guess I could break in. I'm going to do it from the roof. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I know it was a lot of tediousness of me building and designing and stuff, but I'm thinking that that's what's going to have to happen. So what I'll do is I'm going to double the episodes up. The day after the horde, like this horde and the next one, um, is going to be the double day where I'm actually building stuff and getting things ready for the next horde. And then the day of the, or the day before the horde and the horde day will be the double episode where, um, you know, we can kind of go out on a mission or whatever, maybe, and get their base like totally ready for the horde. But the next three days are going to be me going out and doing missions. I think I want to try and find a Shamway Foods building, a big one, and break in there. Um, and break into the Shamway, go through like we did the hospital. I want to do the uh, Shotgun Messiah again too, before the end. Uh, because, you know, those are always f fantastic raids. Oh, I can reach it from here. Can I? I can. 
those are always great fun so I'm really hoping that we can do those again and this is gonna still gonna be too far how far do I have to be oh for uh, yeah anyway <laughs> I'm leaving the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.